r slash ask reddit. Today I crapped myself on my way to work. What is the most horrific thing you have done in public? Christmas day. Two years ago. All dress up. Ready to go out with my family to a nice restaurant for an early dinner. My stomach is upset from overindulging on eggnog the night before. But I'm doing okay. I'm the first one out the door and the step is icy. I slip on the stairs. And onto the snowy lawn. Having shat myself. My skirt has offered no protection and there is a shit splatter over the pristine snow. My family is laughing at me. I get up. Go back inside. Take a shower and get in my pajamas. I didn't need Christmas anyway. I asked a girl from school out once. We had taken the train into the city and were hanging out with friends in a park. Felt a huge fart brewing. So. Being on my best behavior. I unobtrusively moved away from the group to let it rip. Did that bit where you clench your teeth and screw your eyes up as you get ready to let loose something major. And away I went. Except I was horrified to hear no sound at all. And instead just felt buckets of wet warmth inside my jeans. After a few panic stricken seconds frozen to the spot. During which I had time to stress to myself very forcefully that this was an extremely bad situation. I snuck off to the toilets. Used rolls and rolls of toilet paper trying to clean up but there was absolutely no salvaging the situation. Went back to the group in a somewhat chastened mood. And announced. While keeping my distance. That I wasn't feeling good and would get the train home. Now. Just at the point where I thought it would be impossible for the day to get any worse. The girl I had asked out got up and said she was tired too. And that she would be coming back on the train with me. It was 50 minute trip in a crowded carriage. One morning instead of farting like I usually do after getting out of bed. A warm. Sloppy medium sized turd fell out onto the floor. I looked down at it. We exchanged glances then I proceeded to clean it up. I got super drunk at a football game and went to the bathroom. I was so relieved until I looked down and realized I didn't whip my dick out. My pants were soaked with piss and I was too drunk to be embarrassed about it. When I was pregnant I went to the mall and got a horrible case of morning sickness. It hit really suddenly so I stopped at one of those kiosks in the walkway and threw up in their trash can. As I was throwing up my child decided to kick me in the bladder. Making me piss myself. That was a fun day. This is why I always get up early to drink my coffee and let it do its magic before I leave the house. I overdid it at a Chinese buffet and as we were leaving. My friend cracked a joke. I laughed really hard and then threw up all over the table. The waitress looked ruined for life. Threw a rag at me and yelled you clean up. No. And stormed off. Redditors seem to poop themselves an awful lot. When I was 6. I threw up on the teacher's feet while she was wearing socks and sandals. She was a very nice lady about it. I once threw up on a baby. Pissed myself in an assembly at primary school. The headmaster was handing out detentions to those who went during the assembly. Edit. Okay. I feel like I should add more detail. I have 500 upvotes after all. Holy fuck. Okay. So this assembly we were told it could be long. So you should go to the toilet. No one did. About 20 minutes in. At least 15 kids made it. Before the head threatened detentions. I'd never been in detention. And didn't plan on starting, so I did what every smart kid would do. I tried to hold it, I go another 15 minutes. Before a puddle starts to surround me dart. It's at this point the head realized he fucked up. I had just got my first job. And wanted to eat there with a friend. We walked a mile and a half. And both ate this breaded hot dog covered in melted cheese monstrosity before heading back home. Almost back home and my friend is urging me to walk faster because he is going to shit himself and out of nowhere I start barfing. It's a busy intersection. And I'm compelled to keep pace with my friend. Who's moving faster and faster towards my house. I threw up 5 times in under a minute at a mild jog with people gasping in their cars as they watch me. He's grabbing his ass as he runs. I'm 20 feet behind Ralphing everywhere. It would have been weird to see. This thread just reminds that I'm a 22 year old that laughs hysterically at anything involving farts. When I was 10. I had diarrhea. 
but I made it to the toilet. Moments later. I heard my brother running up the stairs yelling about how badly he had to pee. I jumped up and hid behind the door as he ran in and started to pee. I jumped out and scared him and he peed all over the wall. Awesome. Unfortunately. I started laughing so hard I projectile diarrhea all over the wall. He still tells that story 18 years later. I went to Catholic Mass with my grandma and mom the morning after a night of heavy drinking. I was feeling nauseated during the service. But it wasn't until the last few minutes I knew I was going to vomit. There were no bathrooms in the building so I had to go outside and vomit right outside the church. People were arriving for the next mass. Watching me throw up in the grass. Made my grandma and mom really proud that day. I was drinking at a friend's house and decided to stay the night there. We were all kind of bunked up in the spare room and I was on the floor. I'm laying on my back and had just finished the last of the vodka, mixed with Oj and Gatorade, with a friend while we were talking as I started to doze off. I had just gotten over a sinus infection so I had a lot of drainage until I projectile vomited a green snot and vodka mixture into the air and straight back into my face. The incident was referred to as AC slime. God it burned my eyes. Edit. Words. Irrelevant. But poop stories crack me up. When my sister and I were probably 7 and 6 my whole house had the stomach flu. We only have one bathroom and my dad was stuck on it since he was sick as well. Well insane diarrhea hits both of it at pretty much the same time and we have nowhere to go. After trying to hold it my mom suggests we run to my great grandmother's house which is about 2 blocks away. She also only had one bathroom so my sister and I make eye contact and as soon as it hits that one is going to suffer the pain of having to wait longer we bolt and the, the race begins. I can still remember running as fast as my loose bowels would allow and when I beat my sister up those wooden steps I'd known I'd won. I didn't bother closing the door when I managed to sit down but from the hallway all I can hear is my grandmother trying to console my crying sister who had in fact soiled herself. God awful scenario but victory was mine. Till adults crap themselves more often than I previously thought. Bluetooth headphones connected to my iPhone on. I'm listening to music. My iPad in my Timbuktu bag begins blaring hardcore porn starring Sasha Gray and 50 guys. I don't hear it until I am off the quiet bus. A 40 minute ride. And a 55 minute mp3. The mp3 was nearly overplaying in its loud entirety the whole way. Yeah. Edit. Changes video to mp3. TL. DR. GF converted a video to only audio format and set it as my fuck alarm as a prank on a quiet bus. I threw up literally all over the place in the bathroom at work once. Office job. I was just feeling kinda queasy in the morning and figured I can manage. I'll be okay to work. On the upside. I don't think I'll ever be given a hard time for calling in sick. When I was 18, I'm 19 now so still horribly scarred, I gave an impromptu speech to my two best friends at their graduation party in front of about 50 people. I stood up and started speaking but stopped when my cheeks starting spazzing out. I mean violently shaking up and down to the point where people who weren't even that close could see. It made my nerves even worse and I kept saying embarrassing things like. Oh my god why are my cheeks shaking? As people laughed around me. I couldn't even really continue because they were spazzing so hard I couldn't talk. My friend's dad walked up to me and jokingly started massaging my cheeks. Took the mic from me. And told me to finish sitting down. Which I somehow managed to do. Pretty much ruined my already very non-existent self-confidence when it comes to public speaking. Edit. Grammar. In grade school I really needed to go pee. I waited too long and pissed myself right before I got to the stall. But I was clever. And my fellow students were dumb. It was a rainy day. I decided to play it off as me having fallen into a puddle of water. I spent the rest of the day in piss soaked pants and nobody knew because we were all smelly kids anyways. I was at the mall when I was 12 years old. Eating KFC as kids like to do. For some reason that was the day I decided to try eating a 3 piece meal with all the sides. It turns out that I couldn't handle that much food at the time and after a while I could feel the vomit train making its way to my mouth. In my mad dash for the bathroom. 
I was stopped by mall security for running and endangering others. I was only able to get out a few tearful words before the toxic sludge that was one half original recipe and half macaroni salad came spewing out like a broken fire hydrant all over the guard's shoes. Edit. After the first wave. I apologized profusely. He said it was okay and told me to go to the bathroom before any more came out. By the time I had come out he was gone. My parents had apologized and he hd gone to change wash up. This one time I had to shit so bad that my balls were hurting from having to clench my butt cheeks so hard. I was in the mall and couldn't remember where the bathrooms were so I went from one end to the other trying to find somewhere to shit. I finally find one right as the turd is poking out and as soon as I pull down my pants. It rockets out, solid turd, and sits on the edge of the seat like a soggy cigar dangling its feet on the beaches of Shitville's coast. I didn't know what to do so I just wiped. Ran out and hoped the janitor wasn't too angry. Fuck why am I still reading this thread? Now this is the kind of stuff I like to see on Ask Reddit. I was on my way home on the subway and realized I will not make it. So I got off and tried to find an empty corner to take that stupid shit. But I couldn't find one and my body just gave up. I felt my undies fill with hot stinky liquid and felt it running down my leg. Finally I found an empty little road. Let down my pants and let the rest get out. Best part. I had my dog with me and she tried to eat it. I was in a shopping center with my mum when I was about 11-12 and had just ate a huge fry in a cafe. Suddenly. I feel a little bit sick. I'd eaten far too much and knew I was going to get sick. But thought I could hold it until I reached the bathroom. To our horror. The toilets in the cafe were both out of order for maintenance and the closest one was up an escalator on the first floor. Directly above our heads. I ran to the escalator. My mother in tow. And proceeded to climb slowly towards my destination. As you may have guessed by now. I didn't make it. I ended up throwing up. A lot. All over an innocent old lady's back and hair. In front of a crowd of perhaps 100-150 bystanders. She turned around and offered me a plastic bag and asked if I was okay. As if nothing at all had happened. I left my mum to do the talking while I continued to vomit into the bag. This is the most horrific thing I've done in public. Accidentally wore pajama pants under my jeans in maybe third grade. Had the shits real bad, still recovering from diarrhea. Went to the bathroom. Pulled off my jeans. Didn't notice that my pajamas were on underneath cause I was in such a rush. Unleashed the kraken. Bad times were had. I ate escala fish and I got escala fish poisoning. I crapped oil out. On other occasions I have crapped myself a few times. On some of the times that I did it was because I had switched probiotic medications. Seriously. It was all horrifying and the people around me sure gave me hell. It is really embarrassing. On accident I crushed pigeon underneath my foot in front of a bunch of small children when I was younger. They called me a murderer and I agreed. I was in second grade. And instead of urinals. They just had one of the long piss trough. Think narrow bathtub that everyone just lined up at. If you were lucky enough to stand at either end. Then you could have a pee war. You could see who could pee the furthest. I'm guessing it was about 6 feet. Long. I won. I ended up hitting my opponent just above the belly button and in my disbelief. Just kept pissing. Soaked him pretty badly. The teacher made me stay in the bathroom with him until his mom got there with dry clothes. That was rather awkward. P.S. Ricky. Sorry about that buddy. It's official. A scredic now serves as a medium to tell 100,000 s of people that you shit yourself. I shit myself in kindergarten and my dad hosed me off in the yard. I must have looked like father getting scrubbed down. I once took a class trip to Germany in the summer after freshman year. We shared hot rooms 4 or 5 to a room. And I was never able to shit without other people being able to hear it. So I decided to just not shit. For 2 weeks. Finally one day. I knew I was going to burst. I decided to go to dinner with two people I hated so I wouldn't feel bad. Then ate my food as fast as possible. Tossed some money on the table. And walked out. It was still about Algamile to the hotel. 
and by the time I was about halfway there I knew I couldn't hold it. I tried the best I could. And actually held out most of the way. Finally. When I could actually see the hotel. I gave out. I stopped. And tried to collect myself. But it was too late. I couldn't walk anymore. I waited until I was alone. Then gave a massive shot. It lasted at least 5 seconds and was very wet. To my horror. When I turned around. There was a single. Ridiculously hot German girl looking at me. She just stood there with a look of disgust and contempt on her face like I've never seen. Needless to say I ran back to the hotel. I crapped my pants in a blockbuster when I was 17 picking out a movie with my girlfriend. I grabbed her arm and tried to rush her out the door without causing a scene and she starts screaming what's wrong. What's going on? Drawing everyone in the store's attention. I keep telling her to just shut up and leave. But she isn't cooperating. She starts ducking down and scanning the store thinking I'm trying to get away from someone. Finally I'm like hey. I pooped. Coman very confused she follows me out. The drive home was awkward as shit even with the windows down. A red pen exploded all over my white shorts in middle school. Period jokes ensued for that entire day and the rest of the year. Today I crapped myself should be a new subreddit. Pretty standard. Drank too much threw up all over a popular club club's toilet footpath road burrito joint. Drinking not even once. Maybe once. Probably this weekend. Once my friend tired to do a blue angel. He put the lighter to his ass and farted. He then violently sharted himself in front of 7 people. We still make fun of him. Wow holy tits. I just checked my reddit at school and saw how much karma I got and squealed in delight. People are staring at me now colon thanks. This wasn't me but a good friend of mine. I was studying in France one summer and on our last night we all went out and had a few drinks. Needless to say we all had one too many and had to wake up early the next morning. My friend and I were walking to the school and she kept complaining about how sick she felt. Five minutes from the school she yaks all over the town square. Not only that but as we arrive in the school courtyard this group of young French children is standing outside the entrance and my friend walks up right next to them. Pukes in the storm drain and runs into the building. Some of the kids screamed. During college I worked in TV sales at Circuit City. With about 5 minutes left on my 1 hour lunch break. I tried to force out an intense fart. To my dismay. This led to a shot of epic proportions. I drove home. Showered. Changed and came back to work an hour late from break. The TV department was swamped. My manager, Frank, started tearing into me. I cut him off. Shut up Frank I shit my pants. He replied. Understandable. We both went on with our days. Unrelated brag. I have a friend who has shouted in 5 states. Danced at my buddy's wedding. They pulled me into circle to show off my moves. I just closed my eyes and did whatever I had to do to get through it. I think I was somewhere between Elaine's kicking dance from Seinfeld and the Russian Corsuk dance. I live in fear that there is a video of it somewhere. This thread really quickly turned into when have you shit or pissed yourself in public. Didn't happen to me. But back when I was in play school. The only thing I remember was sitting beside this girl during story time. She raised her hand to go to the washroom as she said she wasn't feeling well. The teacher said wait till after the story. She responded by barfing all over herself and kept eye contact with the teacher the entire time. Even at 4 years old. I thought it was hilarious and just about died laughing. I was at a friend's wedding about a year ago. It was me. My brother and another friend attending together. Full Catholic mass wedding. In a church with hard wooden pews. In a dead silent part of the ceremony I try to slip out a quick. Silent fart. It wasn't quiet and it wasn't quick. It bounced off that wooden pew and echoed through the silent church. We were sitting about 15 rows back and my friend getting married up front could hear it. You can hear it on the wedding video. The three of us spent the last 30 minutes of the ceremony trying to hold ourselves together. We all looked like we were having a stroke trying to hold in our laughter. To this day. The thing everyone remembers about that wedding is my fart. TL. DR. Massive fart at a horrible hilarious time. 
I recently took a flight with my wife and three young sons. One of my boys was complaining that his stomach hurt. He looked at me with a panicked look on his face and I knew he was about to puke. I hopped up and we ran to the airplane bathroom. We made it about 5 steps down the aisle before he unloaded. My parental reaction was to just cut my hands and catch his puke. Sadly. There was just too much. Now. I am standing here facing 200 people. The plane smells like absolute puke and I have 2 handfuls of my son's vomit. As we are walking back to the bathroom to clean up. The plane hits some turbulence and out of sheer reaction. I grab the seat next to me to keep from falling. Flinging warm puke all over 2 rows of passengers. To top it off. It was a brand new plane and this was literally its maiden voyage with passengers. I offered to play cleaning bills and apologized profusely. Luckily. The people on the plane were understanding and didn't cause a fuss. But I felt 2 inches tall. This is gonna get buried. But I hope someone sees. A kid who I used to be friends with in grade 2 shit himself. It was a warm August day at Tuas. All sitting around having show and tell. When his turn comes up. He lets out a fart and starts laughing. Then the look on his face turned to sheer horror as the bubbling dial he runs down the back of his legs. He was wearing shorts. And it all poured down into his shoes and overflowed onto the floor. There were many tears as he cried I only tooted. Needless to say. In later years he became a little douche to me. But I always had this store IRS backup. Funny how popular kids can do all this shit and still be popular. Oof. College party freshman year at some older guy's house. I was trying to impress some guy by drinking way too much. Realized I needed fresh air and started climbing down the major staircase, visible to all party guests, I trip and fall down. The motion made me. Well. Motion sick. When I stopped falling down I instantly threw up. Thankfully. Into the hot guy's pair of folded yarn shorts. The whole party saw. I puked on a plane twice after getting alcohol poisoning halfway across the country the night before. Then I proceeded to throw up again at the airport. And then puked once again in a bag while on a cab on my way home. I don't drink tequila anymore. I've been late to school because I've taken the time to do my morning poo. It's important. Folks. I slugged a stranger in the arm thinking he was my friend. He was not pleased. And the mall patrons looked pretty shocked when he started yelling at me. It's okay buddy. I don't respect a man who hasn't shit himself. And if he tells you he hasn't. He's a liar. Similar to Arp's story. It was right before the opening night of my school's play and I was nervous as hell. It was my first big role. So the jitters were twice as bad as I'm used to. 30 minutes before showtime I feel sick. And head to the washroom. Halfway there I feel my stomach drop. Now I can feel it. The pain of an incoming shitstorm. I start running for the washroom. I burst in. Throw open the stall door. And shit all over my costume. Strangely. Shitting myself didn't help my nerves. But thankfully it wasn't visible from the outside. I managed to clean myself up the best I could. Stuffed a shitload of toilet paper into my dress pants. And did my job on stage. Trying not to scratch my ass every 2 seconds. TL. DR shit myself and spent 2 hours acting on stage with a shat in costume. <laughs> my mom took some laxatives without knowing and crapped herself in public. It was all over her hand and smelled horrible. I have Crohn's disease and almost every day sitting in traffic I fight this battle. I have an extra set of work clothes and regular clothes in my trunk at all times. In 7th grade I took too big of a drink of coke in the lunchroom and passed out. I came to and there is a large group of people standing around me staring down. The entire room was silent. It was slightly embarrassing. In the gym 2 weeks ago doing weighted squats. Went down for one of my final reps. When I let of the longest and wettest farts. Turns out I shat myself. However. I was so low in the squat trying to hit a personal best. I couldn't move. Dropped the bar on the floor and fell backwards. This squashed the poop. Which trickled down my shorts leg. Dear OP. You now know the fear and pain that everyone with IBD fears every moment of their waking and sleeping lives. 
when someone tells me to just suck it up and hold it. I feel sad. It feels like discrimination in a way. I was about 10 or 11. My friend's dad had just passed away from a sudden heart attack and I was at his wake in the church with about 300 other people. Respectfully. I had been holding in my gas until I could get outside. Then came the moment of silent remembrance and I could no longer control my anus. My trying to hold back only ended up making it worse. And in that silent church. In front of all those grieving family members and friends. I expelled the loudest fart mankind has ever known. The wooden pew exponentially amplified the ungodly noise. And the worst part is that I could not help but laugh out of sheer terror and embarrassment. I literally ended up laughing and crying and farting more as I ran out of the building. Sorry Trevor's dad. Family went to see the tomb of the unknown soldier and they were giving a presentation. The servicemen were marching and one was yelling out orders and going hut hut hut. Audience was dead silent while this was going on. Three year old me got too excited and decided to join in. Yelling out hut hut hut. Whenever the lead officer did it. When I was about 12 my siblings and I had a taekwondo tournament in the southern part of the state. The night before we all went to a restaurant called on the border. While I was about halfway through my meal I suddenly felt myself needing to vomit. The looks I was making made my family and friends think I just needed to crap. And they even proceeded to make poop jokes. Boy were they wrong. I got up and went to the bathroom and upon entering the men's room I covered my mouth just to puke and have vomit spew from in between my fingers. And leave a trail from the sink area to the toilet stall. Sometime during my endeavor my family must have wondered how I was doing because my brother comes in. And when I leave and sit back down at the table my brother who was about 15 or 16 at the time. Came out of the bathroom and yells from the door to our table he puked all over the bathroom. Every head in the restaurant turns toward him. That was back in 2004 to 2005. My family still wonders if they recognize me as the kid who soiled their bathroom. When I was in second grade. I was raising my hand because I felt the crap on the verge of coming out of my butthole. She won't call on me. And all I'm thinking is I need to get out of here. So I get up and start walking towards her. And the poop just uses out of my butthole. I can't even tell you how much it was. I walk up to the teach and say est sec je pukes alas toilets. J phase on caca dance mes pantalons. Literally translated to can I go to the bathroom? I made poop in my pants. I lived in Benin. A French speaking country in Africa. And went to a private French school at the time. I wasn't even embarrassed. TL. DR. I went to a French school in Africa. Pooped my pants. Wasn't even embarrassed to tell the teacher. Subway car. Kinda crowded. Me with stuffy nose. Standing. Have to sneeze. Try to sneeze in. Fail. Presto. Liquid snot mustache. Me no have tissue. I was giving a presentation in 5th grade and was somewhat nervous and recovering from a cold. I sneezed and as soon as the sneeze stopped everybody saw the gigantic band of snot that was dangling out of my nose and across my mouth. All the girls shrieked. It didn't help with my nerves. Art's morning is my worst nightmare. When I was like 7 I sneezed in church and it made me fart at the same time and it was during a silent prayer part and everyone in the damn church started laughing. Obviously. At the ripe old age of 18. I am still scarred. Hello. I'd like to take a moment to thank you for this thread. You see. I'm incredibly hungover and tired. It's the last day before vacation. The office is devoid of all life, except me. I foolishly made plans after work. So it makes sense to not go home. So. I've been reading stories of people shitting themselves all day. Good times. I shit myself while riding a scooter. I was 12. I'm pretty sure this will get buried. But I'll tell the whole story if there's interest. Oh man. I can't read any more stories. I am crying laughing in my cube and people are starting to wonder if I am okay. Upvotes all around. I've shit myself at one of those all you can eat pizza places. I thought I was just letting out a fart. Until I realized it was really wet. Went to the bathroom and wiped it and put paper towels down there until I could get home. 
Second worst thing is I banged my head really badly on one of those metal shelves at a store. I was bleeding, not profusely. But enough for me to get the heck out of dodge and get home. One day my roommate and I decided to kill shots of Bacardi 151. Might as well have drank hand sanitizer. We're feeling loose and we head out to an IHOP with a group of friends. There were DDs. All of a sudden it hits us like a Tyson uppercut. I order water and then pass out at the table thinking I may be alright. I wake up to the IHOP employees singing happy birthday to me and giving me a sundae. It wasn't my birthday. My friends are assholes. I've been told I cursed them out and refused to eat the ice cream. I pass out again. I wake up feeling like hell and instantly know I'm going to throw up and head for the emergency exit. The manager yells that I can't go out that exit and my friend blocks the door to no avail. I mic ousted right through his ass and throw up in this patch of grass next to people eating dinner breakfast for 2 hours straight. I begged them to take me to a hospital because I honestly felt I was in trouble. They told me to wait it out. It ended up being alright and I still go to that IHOP all the time. But the graveyard manager still hates me. I gave up alcohol for 5 days after that one. TL. Doctor drank poison. Almost died at IHOP. Like so many others here. I have Crohn's disease and poop war stories come with the territory. One time. While I was shopping my stomach began the telltale rumble. I frantically asked the salesperson to use the bathroom and was informed that they were for employees only. I explained that I had CD and she repeated they are for employees only really slow like I was an idiot. There was no way I was going to make it out of the store so I proceed to run into a dressing room and barely managed to get my pants down before shitting all over. I didn't even feel bad letting the salesperson know on my way out that there was quite a mess in the dressing room that needed cleaning. When I was 18 years old, 4 years ago, I had gone to my ex-boyfriend's cabin and we were drinking all weekend and I didn't take a shit because, you know, that's embarrassing. Got back to town on a Sunday. Still didn't shit. Went out for lunch on the Monday with my friend at a shopping mall. We ate at Opa's Savlaki, Greek fast food place. Everything was great. We walk outside on the way to my car. Parking lot is crowded with people. I light up a smoke and let out a fart. But apparently this was no fart. Nope this was liquid shit running down my legs it soaked into my jeans all the way to my knees. It felt like I was pissing myself. Except out of my ass. Worst of all there was no stopping it. I squeezed everything as hard as possible but it just kept coming. I looked down and was horrified. Ran waddled as fast as I could to my car. Had to drive to my friends to get different pants and underwear. Now I never fart unless I'm sitting on the toilet. I once got stuck on the median while crossing a busy street and pissed myself waiting for an opening in traffic so I could run home to pee. So this is the answer to all those WTF gross toilet pictures. I have actually crapped myself at work. It happened with no warning. I get up to fill my water bottle at the water fountain. Walked back to my desk. Still no heaviness in my pants or any other indication that I have shit myself. The moment I sit down I felt hot wetness on my ass and immediately got back up and ran to the bathroom. I waited there for an hour while my wife dropped of a change of underwear. Baby wipes and a bottle of Fabrice. I shat myself one cold winter's evening. On my way to a nightclub. My best mate and I were walking down to the club. Which is about a mile and a half away from where we lived. It was a pretty cold and frosty evening. As we got close I figured there'd be a bit of a queue and it'd be worthwhile nipping into a dark corner and having a piss. I duck into an alleyway and start to piss. Out of nowhere and with no warning I just eject a stream of hot liquid shit all down the back of my legs. I was wearing beige khaki combats. And I'm fairly sure I was steaming gently. There's basically fuck all I can do now. I am as far from my house as I was going to get that evening. I just walk out. Tell my mate I've got to go home. And proceed to waddle the 1.5 miles home trying to stay far enough away from people that they won't notice the brown streak smell steam. I actually ended up getting home. Cleaning myself up and having a bath. Got changed and went back out but I couldn't really salvage the evening. I once bought new pants and they were a bit too long. But I thought they were great so I wore them anyway. 
went to school, tripped on the bottom of my pants, fall up the stairs, and being so scared that I fell, I shit myself. I was 16 and had to tell the secretary why I was going home, could not have been worse. If you want to get nothing in return, you can like and join my discord, there is a link in the description.